Welcome back everyone. It's time for us to go ahead and do a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE and the Samsung Galaxy S22 that just came out. Now both these phones are pretty much brand new, but it's still very interesting to see which one you should go pick up and which one is the better price per dollar. Now the S22 is a little bit more expensive than the S21 FE, so keep that in mind, but I will leave both these phones linked down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the front, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is actually a little bit bigger than the Samsung Galaxy S22. You have a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display, 120 hertz, and it's a very good panel. Full HD, 1080p, it's not ugly, it's a really good panel, and although you know the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE has a plastic back and everything, I still like the S21 FE, and it actually does remind me a lot of the Galaxy S22. That phone has that 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display, 120Hz, same exact resolution, so 1080p, although you do have higher pixels per inch on the S22, mostly because it is a smaller panel. Now both these phones are great, they look great on the front, they look almost exactly the same, and there really isn't that big of a difference. They both have USB Type-C ports on the bottom, no memory cards, no SD card slots or anything like that. On the back though, we do have triple camera setups on both with a frosted plastic back on the S21 FE where the Galaxy S22 has a frosted glass back. So again, another slight difference. I don't think it's anything crazy and most people are pretty much used to the frosted glass back and frosted plastic back by now, but I will tell you, with spending a little bit more money on the S22, you are definitely getting a more premium feeling body on that phone than on the S21 FE without a doubt. Now both have wireless charging, they both have wi reverse wireless charging as well, IP certification the whole nine yards. So when it comes down to this phone and it you know feeling as premium as it is and everything, both these phones are great, but the more premium feeling phone is definitely with the Galaxy S22 over the Samsung Galaxy S21 over the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE without a doubt. Now in terms of the camera setup, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, like I mentioned, has that triple camera setup. So a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. With the Samsung Galaxy S22, has a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, 10 megapixel telephoto lens, then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now the Galaxy S21 FE has a really good camera. I think you know it's still pretty decent. I don't think it's as good as the S22 as all you know as I mentioned. I honestly don't also think it's good as the Galaxy S20. This phone has the capability of shooting 4K at 60 on the back and 4K at 60 on the front, which is cool. You have a 32 megapixel front facing camera as well. And it's overall a pretty good camera. You know, it doesn't really get a crazy amount better than this unless you're spending an extra couple hundred dollars. So in this price tag, it's really not a bad deal. On the S22, on the other hand, you do have the ability of shooting 8K videos on the back, which is amazing. That is something that's going to future proof yourself for a very long amount of time. You also have the ability of shooting 4K at 60 on the front as well. Now, some people may see that megapixel count on the S21 FE with it being 32 megapixels and they may assume that it's so much better this and that but that's not quite the case and that's always kind of deceiving to look at the numbers like that and automatically assume that phone is so much better because of you know x y and z i will tell you when it comes down to the actual use of these cameras you're really not going to notice that big of a difference i'm going to be honest but the s22 i'm just going to side with it being the better one because it is the more expensive one it's the newer one and also it has more features built in but another thing samsung allegedly went ahead and teamed up with a lot of you know social media applications and brought over a lot of features. I honestly don't think they really did a good job so far from what I've tested. I've made some videos on my second channel about it, but I will test it out more thoroughly and let you guys know in a couple of days probably how that goes. So definitely the S22 has a better camera setup for sure. Now in terms of the software experience, I will tell you the S21 FE is probably going to last as long as the Galaxy S21. So with that being said, you're going to be getting a really good supportive phone. You know, it's definitely not going anywhere anytime soon, but something Samsung has mentioned is that they're supporting the Galaxy S21 and the S22 for four years of you know full OS updates and five years of security updates. So because of that, I don't know if the S21 FE is going to last as long as the S21. I want to say it probably is. So even if it is, that's still really good. You're going to be getting a long supported phone there. But the Samsung Galaxy S22 is going to be lasting a little bit longer, at least another year. So that's always good to see. But I will tell you the software experience is almost identical on both. You're really not going to be noticing that big of a difference in terms of the software and they both have the same features you know you're really not going to be noticing anything crazy and that's something I've always mentioned when you're comparing any Samsung phone to one another the software is exactly the same just like how it is on any iPhones it just depends on how long these phones are going to last so if you don't like the S21 FE software you're probably not going to like the S22 software unless we're talking about the longevity of the software so that's number one another thing to keep in mind is that with the S22 it has the higher likelihood of lasting even longer just like with the
the Galaxy S10 and S20, because those phones were brand new at one point and they ended up kind of lasting a little bit longer, they kept supporting that phone a little bit longer, just like with the S20. Now the S22 has a chance of maybe three, four years from now, Samsung will be like, okay, we'll give it another year of software updates. It has a chance and the S22 has a higher likelihood of that. So with that being said, that pretty much covers it up in the software department. Now hitting on the performance side of things, the S21 FE has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it with the Adreno 660 GPU and six gigs of RAM on the base model and eight gigs of RAM on the top tier model, where the Samsung Galaxy S22 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset, so a brand new chipset inside of it, and Adreno 730 GPU and eight gigabytes of RAM on all the models that are out for this phone. Now what I'll tell you about the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE's performance is that it's a really, really good performing phone. From anything that I've done with this specific device, I've honestly had a tremendous experience with it. You know, yeah, I don't want to overhype it and say it was like perfect, but it was really good. I had very few issues with this phone. And when you start getting devices like this that are kind of at like a lower end that are supposed to be budgetier phones, this thing performs exactly the same as you'd expect from a Galaxy S21. It just kind of feels a little bit better than the S21, which is crazy because of the flat sides and everything. But you're also getting, you know, good amount of RAM, six gigs of RAM on the base model, which is the one I had, but it also goes up to eight gigabytes of RAM, which is still a lot. So when you consider, you know, all these things, I'll definitely tell you that Samsung Galaxy S21 FE has a really good amount of performance in it, and you're definitely not going to feel like you have a very slow or outdated phone. On the Samsung Galaxy S22 though, it is a faster phone than a lot of these predecessors, but one thing that I've been finding is that from all the you know reviews and everything that I've seen from Samsung themselves, they were saying this phone was so much faster this and that because of the new chipset. I don't think that's the case just yet. It really wasn't that much faster than really my previous Samsung phones. I will test it out more thoroughly and do more speed comparisons and everything, but from what I'm seeing, it doesn't really seem like it's that crazy big of a difference right now, which is kind of sad. I would love to see bigger differences. I'm not really seeing that right now, but like I mentioned, I will keep you guys updated. The Galaxy S22 is a very, very fast phone, don't get me wrong. It can really do anything you're going to throw at it, but I am kind of seeing that the Galaxy S21 FE is still performing very well. It doesn't feel outdated. If you want to see some more, I guess, heavier performing videos that I've done on this channel, for these phones, you can check on my third channel. You know, I've done a lot of gaming videos on there, but typically I would probably side with the S22 being better, but the S21 FE is a really good performing phone too. Now ending it off with the battery life, this is honestly very surprising. The S21 FE has a bigger 4500 million power battery, where the S22 has a 3700 million power battery inside of it. Now here's the craziest thing, with something like the S21 FE, even though it's a cheaper phone, you're getting a bigger size battery by almost 800 million powers. I think it is 800 million powers, which is so crazy. The S22 has a smaller size battery, and it doesn't really matter how great optimized that chipset is on the S22, it's not an 800 million power battery, you know, difference. You know, you're not going to be getting better battery life on the S22. Even if it was the same battery life, the S21 FE is cheaper than the S22, so why would you even, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm always sad when things like that happen, and in this case, I mean, the S21 FE is going to have the better battery life for sure. So when it comes down to it, what I'll tell you is between these two phones, I like the Galaxy S S21 FE. I think it's a great phone. I like the Galaxy S22. I don't really love either one of these phones, to be honest. I love the Galaxy S22 Ultra. I love the S21 Plus. I really don't see these two phones being like direct upgrades to one another, such as if I had an S21 FE, I don't think I would go to an S22. I would much rather go to something like an S22 Plus or an S22 Ultra and, you know, spend a little bit more money there. I think the S21 FE may be a better value per dollar, especially if you can buy it in the used market, and I think the Galaxy S22 is a really good phone. It just so happens that these two phones kind of counteract one another. You know, the cameras are better on the S22, but I like having a bigger display on the S21 FE, but the S22's performance may be better and it has more RAM on the base models, but the S21 FE has a bigger size battery, but the S22 is lasting longer in terms of software, but the S21 FE is still lasting quite a bit of time and it's cheaper. So it, these two phones kind of flip-flop. I don't really see one being way better than the other one. I would rather pick up the S22 because it's the newer one and if it was, it's a more expensive one too, but the S21 FE is a really, really good phone and I would highly recommend you guys to pick that device up too. So point is you can't really go wrong with either one of these in my opinion. If you guys have any other questions or if you want to pick these phones up, links are down in the description. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.